Well, it is Theater Thursday, and today we are talking about a very well-known film, uh, also a very well-known book, and it has been adapted for the stage. This adaptation goes back some time, but it is opening tomorrow night at the Albuquerque Little Theater, one of our favorite theaters in town. Here with us uh, this morning to talk about the play and what audiences can expect is Yannick Morin. I got it right? Yeah. I got it. I said, I'm going to butcher your name, and I didn't. Uh, you play uh, Dale Harding. Uh, sitting next to you is your director, Bill Stafford. Uh, a lot of people know your work both on screen, uh, on stage, and uh, behind the scenes now, actually, as director. So, guys, thanks for coming in. So, first, the big question that I have to ask when you're doing something this big, how do you separate yourself from the production that, you know, the film starring Jack Nicholson... How do you make it your own and just kind of leave that to what it is and make your own version of Cuckoo's Nest? Well, I believe that any time we go into a production like this, uh, that we all have a preconceived notion right. of what it's going to be. Uh, the, the stage uh, adaptation, the, the novel by Kesey, we've all read it in high school, mm -hmm. or the, the film that we all know with Jack Nicholson. So it, it, the challenge really is to bring your own interpretation. And so us at ALT on this production have done that with a great cast. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and we're, we're staying real honest to the adaptation by Dale Wasserman, who, who added, uh, adapted it rather in the 60s. Mm -hmm. And so we're just having fun with him, man. It's, it's one of those those classic novels that really the story is told real well. Yeah, and we've got a great cast. Well, that and that helps. So it, it must have been a challenge trying to cast this thing, like you, like you were saying, putting the, the preconceived notions and the ideas that we have right. in Cuckoo's Nest. So, uh, Yannick, as an actor, how do, were, were you familiar with the film before you started oh, work yeah. on this? Absolutely. Did any of it trickle into your development of Dale, or did you did you just kind of start with a blank slate? Oh, I started with a blank slate. Yeah, yeah, completely just throw that out the window and. Yeah. Uh, go off mostly from the book. Mm -hmm. Great inspiration right there. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, well, and I think one thing that's really important, uh, Bill, like you were, we were talking about, um, this, this adaptation uh, contains characters that, or it doesn't contain characters that maybe the film has. Right. We're talking different things. So if you've seen the film, it's not a thing to say, well, you know, I've seen the movie. I don't need, you need to come see this production. If you like the story, because this is a different piece. Right. It may have the same sort of storyline, some of the same characters, but we're talking a whole different ball game at ALT. Well, and some surprises, too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We as directors and actors and, and anybody in, in the stage world, you always want to put your own interpretation mm -hmm. on it. But, uh, of course, we're going to stay true to the novel, ultimately. And when I approached it as a director, I read it again mm -hmm. and again and, and really wanted to get a feel for these characters that Kesey created. Mm -hmm. And Kesey spent time in a San Francisco mental hospital. Really? So yeah, back in, in the 50s. So a lot of this stuff comes from actual experience from, mm -hmm. from his perspective. So staying true to that is, is, was really important to me as a director. Mm -hmm. And when we went into casting, that was one of, one of the big things. I wanted to make sure that I found characters like uh, Yannick and, and a few others that could bring something new to yeah. this place. So when people come out and say it, see it rather, they sure the preconceived notion of what's going on, mm -hmm. we're, we're all gonna have that. Mm -hmm. But I want them as, when the lights go up to forget about all that yeah. and enjoy what they're seeing right there at ALT that night. Yeah, being present with it. And so speaking of, you open tomorrow night at Albuquerque Little Theater, is that right? How long does the show run? It runs through, through September 14th, so September three 14th. weekends. Okay. So get your tickets now, you know, check out our website, Albuquerque Little Theater. Dot com and, and and come see it. it. It really is one of those plays that that is uh, worth seeing and seeing Yannick and all the other characters. Yeah, really seeing the the new fresh sort of breath that you breathe into these characters. So it runs Fridays, Saturdays, uh, 8 p.m. or 7.30? 7.30 and okay. then 2 o'clock on Sundays. 2 o'clock on Sundays. Okay, right. fantastic. Well, for more information on this, guys, of course, we will have links at casa.com. Just click on the Casa blog. And uh, again, guys, thank you so much for coming in. Break legs. Uh, I can't wait to see this. I really cannot wait to see this production. Thank you much. All right.